welcome to Solar Tackle's 2022 trade show here at the amazing Amber Lakes at Raysbury. And uh, yeah, it's the first time that we've had every single product that we do out on show for the retailers to come down and see all the exciting new products we've got coming out for the season ahead. Um, I can't go through every single item, guys, because I'll be here all day, but I'm gonna go around, give a general overview of everything that we do, uh, and then specifically talk about maybe three or four exciting new products that uh, we are gonna be bringing out early next year, and a couple that'll be coming out in the next couple of months. So uh, yeah, and also for the eagle eyes amongst you, you will see in the background of this video um, a couple of products, very, very exciting products that um, will be heading your way possibly next year. We don't know yet, but uh, keep looking in the corners of the videos in the corner of the shots because you uh, you'll see some other stuff that I can't talk about at the moment, but uh, you'll definitely see them in the video. So anyway, I'm going to have a quick walk around the inside area here and then we'll pop outside and uh, yeah, show you around standing amongst our amazing selection of uh, stainless steel P1 pods and the aluminium A1 bankware. So uh, yeah, we've got them all here to show our new universal pods and the European version and the, and the standard version. Got to cover this up thing behind me. Don't look too closely there, lads. Um, worldwide pods and the very successful mini worldwide pods. And that might be some uh, new bobbins there, possibly. I'll say no more about that. Um, so yeah. What Solar's probably most famous for is our stainless steel bankware uh, and our pods. So uh, yeah, that's the that's the pod section that we've got here on the inside of the Amber Lakes Resort. And I'm going to uh, pop down to the luggage section now. Moving on to our luggage ranges. Now we've got three different separate luggage ranges here at Solar Tackle. This first one next to me is the SP range standing for solar performance. And uh, yeah, the thing that makes it a lot different to many on the market now is the 1680 nylon material that it's made of. Super hard wearing. Uh, and until recently, we were the only tackle company who was actually offering that material as a product. Like I say, there's someone else that's obviously now got that in their product range. But um, yeah, so that's our top of the range SP luggage. Then moving down here, uh, we've got our hugely successful undercover camo range. That being the camo range, but this next to me, it made perfect sense to release. We haven't done every single item that we had in the undercover camo range, but the key more popular items, we now offer in this lovely green color. Um, you know, camo is not for everyone. So um, for all you guys that are trying to get luggage items on a slightly less budget. You don't want to be spending the money that you would be spending on the SP range. You can go for the undercover green. And um, yeah, it still it's made out of the 600D material, which a lot of the other companies actually use for their high-end luggage items, which we use for our lower end. Still very good quality though. And I'll say come down to the undercover camo range, which has now been out for a fair few years, hugely, hugely popular. And I think it put that down to the amazing camo pattern that it's uh, it's made from, uh, which everyone, the feedback that we get, everyone absolutely loves it. So yeah, that's our three luggage ranges that we have to offer here at Solar Tackle. So the first product I'm gonna to talk to you in a little more detail about is our amazing hotspot heat pad range. I can call it a range now because there's uh, more than one, but you guys may have already seen this one. This is the hotspot heat pad. Um, Come out about March time last year. It was a bit delayed coming out because of shipping problems. So this is probably the first real opportunity in the first winter season you guys will be able to sort of reap the benefits of this product. And uh, as the name suggests, it's called a hotspot heat pad. So it's a heated pad basically that you will then plug into your power pack uh, and you can put it wherever you want. You can put it underneath your pillow. You could shove it underneath your jumper. Uh, and have the power pack in your pocket if you wanted to, uh, or very basically put it underneath your underneath your bum on your guest chair. Uh, if you're doing a day session in the freezing cold and you haven't got a shelter, you know it's really surprising how much a little bit of heat underneath you can turn you from feeling really cold into uh, a comfortable state. So yeah, that's the hot spot heat pad, but. Uh, very, very soon, we're gonna have the second product in the hotspot range coming out, and I don't know if you can see that. So, as you can see, it's uh, pretty much exactly the same as the hotspot heat pad, but it's uh, the size of your bed chair. So, basically, it's just gonna keep you warm 
Uh, during the winter, you can leave this folded up in your bed chair and if you decided to use it, you can do. It weighs next to nothing. Um, so during the winter period, take your sleeping bag off, whether you use a solar bed chair or another company's, doesn't matter. You can, uh, you can use this and uh, keep yourself nice and toasty and warm throughout the winter now. Um, same button as the hotspot heat pad, has three settings uh, and you turn it on and it's obviously high, medium and low. Um, get a lot of questions asking how long do these products last with a battery pack. At the end of the day, it does depend on how powerful your battery pack is. But I can safely say that a power pack that a lot of you would have used um, and a lot of people use in the carp fishing industry, you can go a couple of nights using this heat mattress, uh, still charging your phone up at the same time uh, and you'll get a couple of nights use out of that. So yeah, as a, as a rule of thumb, for power usage. So yeah guys, that's the new addition to the hotspot range and uh, we'll now move outside and I'll, uh, I'll show you the outside stuff. So coming outside and uh, I'm gonna make this relatively quick because we're dodging the rain clouds. Just to my right here are extensive range of guest chairs and bed chairs and uh, yeah, nothing new at the moment, but uh, whatever your price point, whatever your budget is, we've got something for offer to you guys. If you've got a, you're on a budget, go for the undercover camo range of uh, chairs and guest chairs. And if you want our SPC techs, if you want the best bed chairs in the market, they're definitely worth a look at. Not changed at all in the four years that they've been out, and that's because, well, we just think they're perfect. Gonna go behind me now and uh, talk about some uh, amazing new bivvies and adaptations of some of our existing bivvies that are going to be heading your way this spring. So I'm seeking a bit of shelter underneath our brand new Mark II Cube Shelter. Now, uh, many of you may have heard about our Cube Shelter, the original one. Uh, it's basically a social tent, cook shelter. If you're over in uh, France with a friend, have your two normal bivvies and plonk this thing up in between the two of you as a, uh, a shelter for every element. The sides can be rolled up for when it's really hot and you've got a full mozzie surround. It gives a nice airflow and keeps all the bugs out. Or you pull the sides down if it's raining, like it is at the moment. And you've got this nice porch area that goes over the top of you. Now the Mark II version, we like to listen to you guys and have a bit of feedback and try and improve on our existing products. So we've actually got poles going through the canopy area now to give it a bit of rigidity. Uh, before it was just a material and we're finding, it, you know, it's still done the job, but uh, it was sagging down a little bit, and especially when the rain was building up on the top of it. Um, so yeah, just a, a slight improvement for next season's cube shelter that we'll be offering to you guys early next year. Moving down the line, I'm now seeking shelter underneath the, uh, the quick up shelter, the Mark II quick up shelter now. Um, so as the same with the Cube, listening to you guys, we've improved it in a, in a couple of ways. The Mark II doesn't have the, the mozzie vents at the top, because we're hearing from you guys that when you get into some serious conditions, some serious side winds, the rain was actually getting underneath, underneath the side flap and uh, penetrating its way through the top vents. So we've done away with that. And uh, the Mark II version has now got this little thing here uh, installed into the center boss section above my head. And that will become apparent for why when I do move down the line to the next, uh, next bivy that's set up. But uh, this will be available separately. But let me move down to the next one and uh, it'll make a bit more sense. So we'll go down to the next bivy. So I'm now sat under the brand new extended over wrap for the uh, very popular quick up shelter. Now, as I mentioned before, the reason for this being to be sold separately to you guys, so every single one of you that have already got a quick up shelter will be able to buy this adapter, which you can fit yourself onto the center boss. And then that will then allow you to then buy this extended over wrap and the over wrap center pole, which is above my head, locates into that little round nub in there um, so yeah we'll allow you guys to buy one of these and install it yourself and reap the benefits of this lovely amazing extended porch as i said the mark ii version doesn't have the mozzie vents at the top 
and we'll also have this already included and installed onto the bivvy so you haven't got to worry about that so uh yeah that's a nice one for all you quick up fans out there and uh let's move down to the next one our compact spider bivvies have been out for a couple of years now and it made absolutely perfect sense for us to bring it out in our amazing undercover camo pattern so uh, yeah i'm standing next to that exact thing that's going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks possibly by the time you've seen this video it will already be in the shops and available to you guys across the uk and across europe um, if you don't know anything about i'm not going to go into every single specific thing but there's some very unique selling points that makes this bivy a lot different to anything else out in the market i know we've been getting some great messages from you guys some great feedback to how much you're impressed by the design and uh you know the way that we've uh, we've presented this very nice bivy that i also use myself um so yeah that's the bivy and another thing we've been asking from you guys a lot is uh, for an overwrap for the compact spider so you'd be pleased to know next door to me here is the undercover camo overwrap for the compact spider at the moment we're only going to be bringing it out in the undercover camo pattern we'll see how the sales go and we may well bring it out in the green later on if you guys really wanted a green one but by all means for all you guys that have got one of the original green compact spiders this will fit your bivy absolutely perfectly as i said there's no difference between the two of the bivies apart from the material so uh yeah next couple of weeks you'll be able to get your hands on both of these so yeah i'm just going to follow this line of bivies down all of these bivies that i'm walking past are already on the market the uh the two man twin ribs in the undercover camo and green now one man twin ribs just walking past them now, you probably guys already know about that, but yeah, making the point that all the undercover camo bivvies that we do now and the brollies, we now have available in a normal green pattern because, uh, you know, camo is not for everyone. Our brolly systems, and I'm just gonna plonk our 60 inch day brolly back in position where it belongs and uh, take you over to the final bit. Our final group of products that I'm uh, standing next to is our ever-increasing range of fish care products that we do. The waist slings now in uh, undercover camo and uh, standard green colour, enlarged in the standard size, our A1 tripod there for weighing even the largest of carp. Um, and our selection on hooking mats, the undercover camo and the SP versions. And over my left shoulder, we've got our uh, three landing nets that we do, the uh, bow light, being the cheapest model that we do, going up to middle of the range, the A1 Bowlock and our legendary P1 Bowlock landing net. So yeah, that's, uh, that's our fish care products. So I'm now standing on the amazing Hut Island, which is right next to the Amber Lakes where we've been having our trade show. And uh, yeah, every evening, the retailers have been coming over here each day, different groups of them, and uh, sampling some of the amazing fishing that Raysbury South Lake has to offer. Been quite a few fish caught throughout the four days that we've been here on the island and on the lawn in front of Dredger Bay. So uh, we've had some very happy customers to see not only our products, but um, yeah, to have a few fish from Raysbury as well. So uh, yeah, highly recommend any of you guys that have uh, seen this video to come and sample Hut Island and the amazing socials that you can have on this place. So that concludes my little walk around of the Solar Tackle Trade Show 2022 here at Raysbury. Unfortunately, I couldn't go into depth about every single product that we do because uh, yeah, I'll be here all day, but please head over to our website if you want some more specific details and prices on uh, any of the products that I didn't cover. And uh, yeah, it's been a really great few days. Uh, I think all the retailers have uh, received all the products very well and are just as excited as we are for all these new products that are going to be heading our way. There's a few that I haven't talked about yet, which I'm not allowed to, but uh, yeah, you may have seen them throughout this video just to get your eyes raised about a few of them. Please follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and now TikTok and uh, that will keep you up to date with anything that's going to be coming out, release dates for all these new products and uh, yeah, we shall see you very soon.